Yeah, like every other town and city around San Diego County, they've been dealing with their own thing out here. You know, the open, closed culture right now, according to the governor's latest order, things are all supposed to be closed down. We're not really talking specifically about that. We're talking kind of a big picture uh, look at what's going on in the future with the mayor, Richard Bailey. And he's joining us right now on this ferry landing, and it is just so beautiful out here. Richard, you got your own microphone on so we can be socially distanced. We do. Welcome the to Coronado, Dan. Thank you. And you know what? Every time I'm here, it's just so beautiful. And I just say to myself, you know what? What can I do to just hang out a little while longer? Hey, you're welcome to come visit us anytime you like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Let's talk about what's going on because I know that you've been pretty vocal throughout this yeah. whole thing. Let's chat about, you know, <clears throat> we've turned the page. You know, there's a new president. There should be a new vibe out here. Um, what's on your mind? What's your concern? You know, it's, it's a, I have a bit of optimism now, and, but also a, quite a big deal of uh, frustration. Um, I'm optimistic about as this vaccine is being rolled out, you know, more and more people are going to uh, get the vaccine that they need to look, go about and live their lives again. Uh, but uh, there's also a great deal of frustration, frustration on behalf of our small business community that really doesn't have many people speaking up on their behalf. Uh, frustration for those, their employees that have been laid off for the third and fourth time this year. And as, you know, KUSI has, has well documented, the, the science behind a lot of these closures just, just simply isn't substantiated. Right? And in fact, the science says that outdoor dining does not contribute to the spread. Personal care services do not contribute to the spread in a significant way. And yet we're still following the same playbook that we did uh, 11 months ago. And unfortunately, the people that are affected by this are the ones that can least afford to go a couple more weeks without a paycheck. So I'm optimistic about the vaccine, but I'm very frustrated that we haven't really updated our public policy to reflect the science. Now, I know that you have sent letters to the governor in the past. Um, have you gotten any response uh, one way or another? We've unfortunately never received a response from the governor. And of course, you know, the governor has yet to really update the, his public policy in a meaningful way to reflect the science. So um, I'm not optimistic that that's going to change anytime soon. So what do you make of this? What do you make of the same policies being handed down with these businesses? Obviously, every single day right now, San Diego County, about 60 percent of the businesses under the lockdowns are closed. We're hoping some of them come back. But what do you make of this? Nobody really speaking out in favor of science and going basically go along to get along on this, and it's the same trick. You know, I think it's a real failure of public policy, and I also think it's a failure of leadership. Uh, if we aren't speaking out on behalf of our small businesses and their employees, then who else is, right? That is our job as local officials to call upon you know, the governor, to call upon other state officials to implement better policy. That is our job. So if we're not calling for that, then no one else is, and they don't have a voice. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about this vaccine rollout, how it's been going? Obviously, it's very nice to know that it's there, but there seems to be some roadblocks in the way here. There are, of course, it's, it's a very big undertaking. It seems to be a bit disjointed with the vaccines going to um, a bunch of different places from, from pharmacies to the counties to the, the local hospitals. And uh, you know, so I trust that everyone is doing their best, but it is a bit of a cluster right now. And you know, I'm hopeful that the county uh, with their leadership will be able to uh, implement a little more smoother process as, as time goes on, but uh, you know, sooner rather than later, hopefully. Yeah. You know, when uh, the things changed, when the governor put us in regions and we are now in this southern region with 11 counties that reaches up to Mono County right. and all the way up to San Luis Obispo County. Um, how do you feel about that in terms of the fairness of what's happening out there in terms of using this as your matrix to lock down business? It's just another example of an inconsistent, arbitrary nature of these health orders that we've seen from the very beginning. When you lump in San Diego County, which um, according to our data, we've done a much better job than most other counties in the state in terms of containing the spread, uh, it, it simply just doesn't make any sense. So Mono County, of course, is closer to the state of Utah than is to San Diego County. It's closer to the state of Oregon than is to San Diego County. So why would our restrictions be based on what's happening you know, 400 miles away? It simply doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, what it really does is it helps to undermine uh, the integrity of the overall health orders. And there are certain elements within the health orders which make sense to help slow the spread. But unfortunately, shutting down small businesses, shutting down outdoor, rest, outdoor dining, shutting down personal care services just doesn't make any sense at all. And it really creates a lack of trust um, in the officials that are making these decisions. And finally, before we let you go, um, we talked about this and how this has become a Democrat versus Republican right. issue. But is it really? You know, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. But it seems that that's how the public policies are rolling out, at least here in California. 
I am encouraged that uh, we do see governors on the left side of the aisle, from uh, Governor of New York Andrew Cuomo to uh, Republican Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis, that are all starting to say kind of the same thing, and that is, hey, small businesses should be allowed to reopen with certain protocols in place. Uh, you're seeing that happen across the country, regardless of party affiliation. And so I'm hopeful that we'll start seeing that um, in California sometime soon, because the bottom line is the people that are out of work right now, they don't care if it's a Republican or Democrat making these decisions. They just want to get back to work. They want to keep a roof over their head. They want to put food on the table for their family in a safe and responsible manner. And unfortunately, it's these government bureaucrats that have gone an entire year without missing a paycheck that are causing them to miss theirs. And so I think, once again, we all need to call for better public policy. And I hope more officials around the region will start doing that. All right. Mayor Richard Bailey, we do appreciate your words. Uh, very, very strong words there for sure. And, you know, obviously we've known that all through this thing since the very beginning, going on 11 months now, um, a lot of politicians have been very reluctant to speak up against the governor, the one-man rule up there, for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, they're walking in lockstep. But if you actually follow the science, and you know, yesterday Joe Biden specifically said it's time to follow the science. So perhaps that message will trickle down into California and we'll get more science into the equation as opposed to the political movement of what's happening out here. Because we are now going on month 11 of the lockdowns up and down, up and down. We've been closed for a while, as you know. And the people out here, it's not just, you know, a handful of politicians who are starting to change their tune, but the people out here are rising up as well. And if you heard about this, but up in the wine country, up in Northern California, where Gavin Newsom has a lovely winery, the wine country coalition just sued the governor to reopen. So uh, people up there are getting involved in the, in the pushback. People down here, as you know, have been involved in the pushback. And people are, are ready for a different solution. They're ready for different answers as to what's going on out here. And the bottom line is, if you follow the science, what, what better way could you go? What better way could you go? <laughs> we're not following the science. So anyway, uh, we're going to talk more coming up from Coronado in just a little bit. Uh, but right now, let me step aside and let Mike show you what's going on out here, because it is so beautiful. What a day it is. It's like 74 degrees on the water today. So we'll leave you with that, a nice happy shot. See you at five.